Dumont against D. The puck is dropped, and we are underway in Syracuse. Up. A lead pass tipped in. Here's Kepke. Breaks to the net. Kepke shoots. Good save. Made by Primo. This is stolen by Forte. He's in with Elia. One-timer score! Remy Ellie on a one-timer on the center from Fortier in the crunch. Grab a one-nothing lead. 4-18 into the opening period. The pickpocket on the clearing play by the Rocket. Fortier stole it. And then set up Remy Ellie, who just blasted home the one-timer from near the top of the circles in the high slot. Gets down low, filters it, knocked down, gets a second chance to the crease. He scores! Oh, the pass was broken up initially by Charles Houdon stayed with it and squeezes it through Primo. It's 2-0 Crunch. 8.06 into the first period. The Crunch have a 2-0 lead as Houdon gets his 17th of the year. Crunch have had a great start to the game. Dumont left circle, shoots and scores! The great start continues. It's 3-0 Crunch, 6.49 left of the first period. It's Dumont's 19th goal of the season, and he's just one back of his career high now as he took a pass in the left corner and just whipped home the shot from the left circle. 3-0 Crunch, 6.49 left of the first period. And now Richard steals. Richard to the net. Richard is denied. What a save by Primo with the right arm. Left side, Gonzalez. Here's the centering pass, redirected a save made by Primo. Dello passes to the left, Niku shoots, knocked out in front, second chance, they score. Sean St. Amat pulls the rocket within two. 13-13 left of the second period. Oh, what a difference 30 seconds makes. In one direction, the bad break, broken stick for Cole Kempke probably keeps it 3-0 instead of 4-0. And then the Rocket go the other way. They get in the offensive zone and they finally get on the board. A let down low into the corner. Back up high for Belpedio. Cross ice, one timer, score. With only one second to go on the five on three. 8.9 seconds to go in the period. It's three to two and Dumont will go into the box. And so it will still be a five on three. Well, that one extra second was so crucial. Get over the right blue line, top of the right circle, drop pass right side, Rifers shoots another save made by Primo. Got now at the hashes, back to Radish, he shoots, save made, rebound, score! He was due, Cole Kepke has had so many chances in the game, and he finally cashes in, a power play goal. 4-18 left in the third period, and it's 4-2 crunch. Go find to go in the third. Here is Belpedio, one-timer, redirected a save made by Alderfeld. Center, dangerous play in the neutral zone, taken away and cleared down the ice, and it goes into the goal! It's the empty netter for Darren Radish. 2.40 left in the third, his first of the season. And look at the smiles on everyone's face. It's 5-2 crunch as Radish gets the empty netter. A three-point night for him, and it's 5-2 Crunch. And the Crunch fans see a 5-2 win as they salute their heroes tonight. Crunch win it 5-2.